Hi, hi, hello. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be making this quick video to say this is how we install um, Town of Us onto Among Us. I don't feel like the website is very clear in how to do it and what um, what um, what it should look like when it's done. And um, that's fine. These guys are are, are making a, a great thing, so I'm not moaning about them at all. I just want to add some extra. Um, you know, content so that people can can be confident that they're doing it right and and what what's happening with it. So, essentially, I'm on the Town of Us website. It's a GitHub repository. So if you go and Google that, you'll probably find it. I will put a link in the description for the video though. And um, when we're on a release, this particular release, we probably want the latest one. This is two point right now. Um, we just click on the zip file and download the zip file. If you've got Windows and you haven't got a pre-installed like zip management application like WinZip or something like that, and then if you just click, you're going to open it up. Um, and this is the zip file, but Windows is happy to read from zip files these days. It doesn't care. So um, if you haven't and you're using WinRAR or WinZip or 7zip or something, just unzip it to a folder somewhere, and then you should see these, these files. Now, all you need to do is put them into... Among Us, so if we go to, you're going to see a bunch of stuff when I do this, but if we go to Steam, we go to Among Us and Properties. Um, if you click on this Local Files, you, you will see a button that says Browse. This is just an easy way for us to navigate to the Among Us directory. Um, and you can see that from here, Steam's um, directory is here. So you've got Steam apps common Among Us. If we go back one, you see how I have all of these copies of Among Us. I'm actually just going to delete them. Um, and what I'm going to do is copy this. I've actually got another one here. I'm going to and paste it back in, right? So I've cop I've made a copy of just copy paste. When you copy paste, it will um, it will just create copy. So I'm going to rename this to Among Us Town of. Um, town of 2.0, so this is going to be my town of folder. So it exists, it's in my folder, it's here, um, and it's the same as the original Among Us right now. So I'm going to go to the zip folder, I'm going to take all of these files and move them into my directory, my Among Us directory, my copied one. So the original one's still there, and if you run from stream from Steam, you've got the original one. And it's important to keep the original one because if you want to use different mods um, or, or just vanilla, you can just go and use that one. But now I've copied this stuff in, this is now like ready. That was all you needed to do to get Among Us to, to, to like be patched. This exe folder, I'm um, sorry, file is the what you need to run. So if you want to create a shortcut somewhere for it. You know, you can right click, drag it to your desktop and it'll come up, create a shortcut. If you rename that shortcut, then you, know, you, you can run it from your desktop or run it from wherever you normally run programs. But also you can just run it from this folder. So if I double click on that exe file, this is the regular Among Us exe file. Among Us is going to know that it's patched um, and it's going to start up with the mods. I mean, definitely is. Waiting for it to start. I mean, I can hear my PC doing something. So. There we go. So Among Us is now running. We're just looking for the for the telltale signs that a mod has been included. So you can see, look, in green here, loaded Town of Us mod version two by Sushi Goose. Um, so the mods are here, and if I go online, I'll host a game, and um, it doesn't really matter what because I'm not going to actually play it. We're in a lobby, and you can see down the side we now have the, the, the chances of all of these different roles for crewmates coming in, all of this stuff. So we have a bunch of um, modifiers and, and, and um, settings. And if we go onto the game settings on the computer in the lobby, 
we can change all of that stuff here so we can set percentages for um, the different roles we can change those settings and it's all here ready to use so I mean that's it that's how you do it you have to obviously make sure everybody's got this um, it's not going to just work if one of you has it and um, it works with the regular among us servers so you don't need to host a special server for it and um, you can do there are ways to do that but if you if you if you just want to um, if you just want to be on the regular servers they work for you fine then there's not a problem and um, I also use crew link um, the original crew link um, Otto's one I don't know I think that's kind of the work has stopped on that but there is a fork of that project called Better Crew Link, which someone has taken the original project and they've made it work for the current build. So if you still want to get Crew Link, look for Better Crew Link. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, and enjoy Town of Among Us because it's got some really fun roles. And um, yeah, that's it, really. One take video.